Alright, hello again. I'm Terence Spain, and if you want to find my work, you'll need to simply type in electrical installation Terence Spain. Now, it should be possible for you to see my name in some of the videos I have so far produced in regards to electrical installation. Now, what I want to look at today is to go on to unit. 316. Now I will be producing a video of this as well, section by section, detailing the requirements that you'll need to put into your portfolio in order to meet these criteria. Okay. Now when you look at unit 316 in regards to the 2357, you'll see that uh, for this 316 there are basically three outcomes but these are mainly practical exercises in installing steel wire armor cables wiring up electrical circuits installing distribution boards circuit breakers etc now that's a lot of work you would have done yourself as an apprentice and again, remember the person you're working with, he or they are the expert witness to what you have done. So you use that information for yourself as well. Okay. Now, all, all I'm going to do here is to give just a bit of an example of some of the elements you will need to look at in regards to the 316. And here, I've simply taken up. 316.1.1. Now, if you take 316.1.1, it's important to remember that carry out safe isolation of electrical circuits and complete electrical installations in accordance with regulatory requirements. Now, you would have done this at 311, unit 311, because you would have needed to have create or put in place a safe system of work and that safe isolation procedures should have been in form part of that process so you would have done this already what you need to do is to make sure that if you have done this you simply copy it over and reference it for unit 316 do not attempt to take it from 311 as 311 into 316 you have to rewrite it and reference it for 316 okay there's no misinterpretations or any direct fit into it you need to make it so that it refers to that specification and to the unit element of 316 1.1 now, looking at 316 1.2, ensure the health and safety of themselves and others within the work location in terms of selection and use of tools, PPE, risk assessment, reporting of on site situations, adherence to relevant statutory and non statutory regulations. Now, my first question here is what are the statutory and non statutory regulations that you have come across and that you have dealt with? And again, you should have done this. N311. Okay. Now also be aware that there's a new unit coming out in regards to electrical insulation, the 5357, I believe. But the principle still is the same. All they've done there is to now make it part of the criteria in a written format that you must now have for the graphic evidence of what you have done and what you are trying to claim you have achieved. Whereas before, it did not stipulate photographic evidence, but it was taken for granted that it was automatic. But because some individuals felt that, well, it doesn't say a requirement for photographic evidence, they did not think that it was required. So, sections like this were simply filled in as an English sentence. I watch while I comply with the regulations when I stood on the balcony and didn't fall off. 
or a single sentence which is not appropriate for this type of work because it is meant to be a practical application of what you have done and an English sentence will not achieve that. You can write about using photographs to show what you have done. You can put a description to the photographs to tell us what you have done. You can then link that photograph to the relevant regulations stipulating in regards to the IEE regulations saying what that photograph is telling us that you have complied with. And that is what it is about. Okay. I'm not going to take up much of my time, but, but what I will do is to continue on, and you can see here outcome two, okay? So all I'm going to do is to look at outcome two, but I'm going to begin to put this into a video. I will section each section of the page, each element in regards to relevant outcomes. I will put in text what should be required and the point at which you need to look back to see where you have done that work before and where you can use it again in some places. Okay? So please bear that, that in mind. Um, so we are going to be looking at three, Unit 316, your NVQ portfolio work that is required to complete your qualifications as a qualified electrician. Okay? Thank you.